Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a review on my liquid lipsticks. I'm going to show you my top 10 liquid lipsticks and kind of compare them as I go. So starting off with these Sephora cream lip stains, I would definitely recommend you try them. I think they are one of the best, probably the best liquid lipstick on the market uh, for the best price. These are about $16 each, whereas most other high-end liquid lipsticks retail for $25, $30, uh, even higher than that as well. So these are a great price. They give you a lot of product and they have a lot of different shades. I have about 10 of them, so I have picked out my top five to go through with you. So this first one is number 13 and it's what I have on my lips right now. So it's a really, really beautiful nude kind of mauve shade. And I just love the pigmentation. These go on really, really creamy and then they dry down within about a minute. And these are a really, really matte formula once they dry. So my favorite way to wear these is putting a lip liner underneath in a coordinating shade. That way I feel like I get the fullest coverage and I don't feel as dry. I'm kind of a lip gloss, lip balm kind of girl, so feeling like I don't have anything on, it's a little weird for me. If you're used to never wearing lip gloss or anything, you won't really even notice these on your lips, which is amazing and these really truly last all day. The next shade that I really like is number 7, which is a wearable hot pink. I would say it's like a neutral rose pink and especially if you have cooler undertones I think this is a really really beautiful shade nice and creamy no shimmer it's just absolutely gorgeous and I feel like I can throw this on head out the door and I know it looks amazing next I would have to say this is my favorite shade this is number 12 and it is a absolutely gorgeous wearable purple lipstick so it's not neon purple by any means it's kind of a hot pink leaning purple and uh, i think it's a great way to get started wearing purple lipsticks if you're not used to wearing a bright purple this is quite wearable it's not even that noticeable that it's kind of purple but it's beautiful i always get so many compliments i've gotten like six in one day wearing that so it's absolutely gorgeous Next is number one, which is their True Red. So I really like this. It is a gorgeous red, very like neutral toned red. I wouldn't say it's too like orange or blue based. I think it would look good on pretty much anyone's skin tone, uh, pale, more tanned, anything. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And this last shade is number 14, which is a darker kind of berry shade. This would be a really great fall winter lipstick. And this one seems to always be sold out. Um, it's just an amazing color, so I totally understand why. And a color like this in this formula is the way to go. The fact that you can apply it and not worry about it is amazing. You don't want something like this on your teeth, on your face, anywhere else. So those are my top five Sephora cream lip stains. So let's move on to Kat Von D. So I have three of their shades. This first one is Lolita and it's a very nice dark nude. I think if you have darker skin, this would be a really, really great kind of everyday nude. And it also looks good on cooler complexions. So this one is a mini size that came in the Give Me Some Lip set. So this one has three milliliters, whereas the other ones have 6.6. So you do get quite a bit. In the Sephora, you get five milliliters so that's a pretty good amount as well if you look at the Stila liquid lip stains I think those only have about three milliliters so you have to consider that when you're looking at price uh, making sure you're getting a good amount of product so this first one is called Bauhaus or Baja 5 so this one is a really beautiful kind of berry hot pink and with these I find I always like to do two coats. It can be built up to more of a vampy 
purple shade. Um, I would say these Sephora cream lip stains have more pigmentation on the first swipe. The Kat Von D, I feel like I usually need to do two coats. Then this one is LUV, and this is an absolutely gorgeous purple shade. And this one as well, um, on the first coat, I usually find it can be a little sheer, so I always build it up a little bit more, and then it can look a little bit more vampy. But absolutely gorgeous. Um, these have quite a long tube and wand, so when I'm applying it, I feel like I'm just a little bit too far away, like my hand from my mouth. But I absolutely love the packaging, and uh, I think it's really pretty. So that's what they look like next to each other. So the Kat Von D is quite a bit bigger, but you don't get much more product. The last two are actually drugstore liquid lipsticks. I made a review and a lip swatch video of the six in this line. And you can only purchase these in Canada, so I left them till the end. But these are really amazing. These are six hour liquid lipsticks, and these are different than the ones I've shown you. All of these dry matte, whereas these ones remain a little bit more moisturizing, but they last really, really well. And these are only $6, so they're really, really affordable. Uh, the Sephora is around $16, the Kat Von D is about $26, I think. So these are really, really affordable. So I have this really nice hot pink, and this is called Fuchsia, which is fitting. And they've got a similar doe foot applicator. So that's that one there, and this next one I absolutely love. It's in Bay Sauvage, which is a purple. It looks quite a bit like the Sephora one that I love, but this one is quite a bit brighter. So that's it there, and it does look quite a bit like the Sephora, but I feel like these ones are more hydrating. They don't dry down to be as matte. So those are my top 10. To remove liquid lipsticks like this, you can use coconut oil, olive oil, uh, makeup remover, of course, but I find oil just really helps to break it down uh, so you can remove it easily. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.